this is what we're doing today guys we're gonna see how long this burns like this we also have another camera angle right here let's see how long it'll burn Hey guys, Shea Bear here. Today we're going to be doing an experiment with those uh, landscape timbers. I cut off the garden box over there. I'm also trying out this lens on this camera. It's a macro lens. So, I've made rocket stoves before out of cinder block and I've cut logs, you know, in the center. But just for fun, I thought, let's give this a shot and see if it works. You know, give us something to do. Uh, we're out in the backyard. I got some things out front for sale right now. I was going to have a, a yard sale today, but Monkey's getting off work early today. So we may or may not go to a bike fest. I don't know. But also got a surprise coming up for you guys really soon, so stay tuned for it. I think you'll like it. It's going to be a cool video. So let's get you down here. I'm going to show you what. We're going to build a type of a rocket stove here. Hopefully you can hear me. I'm trying a mic on here I've never used before. I'm using my shotgun mic on here. So what we're going to do, I'm going to place these like that. And leave a gap in the center like this a couple blocks over here hopefully you can hear me I'm just gonna put some tape around that because I want some air to get to this so We've got kind of a hole down in there. Let's zoom you in here a little bit. All right. Now, we're going to stuff this with some cardboard. All right. It doesn't need to be a very big hole. You don't want it too tight. It's got to get air to burn. You want enough to get it to, to start. Now I'm just going to use my little mini torch for this. If I can get me a log. If I can find a log along the road somewhere. I'm going to, uh, I'll show you how to make a good one with the chainsaw. I'm not sure how long this will last. We'll time it and we'll see how long this will burn. Now, these being landscaping timbers, if you're using something like this, don't cook over it because these are treated, this is treated, treated lumber you know, like creosote or whatever in it. I'm not sure what they put in it, but, you know, it's not something you're going to want to cook on. So, see, we're clear down to bottom there. And what I've done here is I put a stick down at the bottom and give it a little bit of air. So, let's go ahead and light this up. And we'll see how long this is going to burn. Probably should have used newspaper. But we're going to get it going with this one way or another. I don't know why I keep putting the 
handle so I can raise and lower this camera towards the back. For monkey, I put it up front here for, you know, down here. But for me, I always forget about it. Okay, it's burning. Uh, well, at least the cardboard is. Let's let it burn for a second and see what we got. Okay, we've got this going now. See the little, I don't know if you can tell, the little bit of black smoke. And you can see the creosote up here where they uh, pressure treated this. This uh, These landscaping timbers. You can see it right there. Maybe right there you can see that stuff. That's that stuff. That's why you don't want to cook on this kind of stuff. But for logs, try some logs in the same manner. And I think you'll you'll get a pretty good result. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it on a timer. You see that? And we're going to hit start. And we're going to see how long this burns. I'm going to move you over here a little bit so the smoke... Let's give it, say, 30 minutes, and we'll come back out and check it. Now, you may have noticed I'm at a different angle. Well, that's because the sun is high in the sky, and where I had the camera sitting, it was giving me a... A notification on the screen that it was getting too warm I didn't know this cheap camera had that feature so I put you over here in the shade but as you can see the fire is still going strong it's been 31 minutes and it's still got a ways to go so we're gonna let it burn all the way down and we'll see how long it took it's just coming up on 32 minutes now. And then we'll see how long it took to burn down. You guys can do this with regular uh, logs. Put them in a circle. Kind of put them down in the ground just a smidgen to hold them up. You can use wire to wrap around it. Mechanics wire or hanger wire. But if you do that and you're out somewhere, make sure you pack the wire out with you when you leave. Let's check back in on it here in a little bit. As you can see guys, we're over an hour. We're, well now it's an hour and 14 minutes. It has separ they have separated some. And I'm sure if I moved them closer together, I'd probably get, I know I'd get another hour, hour and a half out of it. So I'm going to end this right here. And uh, so you can see, now, like if you're using hardwood like oak or cherry, and you got logs, and you just put them together, I think you could easily have a three, three and a half hour burn time depending on how many logs you have in it, uh, you might have enough for all night. So guys, there you have it. Whenever you put your logs in a circle like that, start the fire in the center, you're going to have a longer burn time. That's coming up on an hour and 20 minutes now. If I would scoot them together, I'm sure it would last a lot longer. If you just put them on a regular fire, they're going to burn up pretty quick. So that's a pretty good idea. Um, for like just sitting around a campfire at night, you know, uh, having a couple friends over, you know, you go two, three hours, you'd be good to go. So there you go. Um, uh, it's popping, but just use regular wood. And like I said, if you, if you wire them together and you're out in the woods or anywhere, make sure, make sure you, uh, you take pack the wire out with you, you know, so it's not laying around. It's bad for the environment. I'm not a tree hugger by any means, but I don't like to leave. If I take it in, I take it out, you know. So, but, uh, you know, one thing that my daddy taught me a long time ago before he left this shitty world. He said, son, when you get older, 
you'll realize something. That there's only two kind of women in this world that will ever amount to anything. Big old goodens and good old biggins. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.